title of this mini podcast is Cerebral Sorbet. You probably know this already, but new learning takes time to integrate. Sometimes it's a short interval and other times it takes longer. You can affect the integration process by doing something between learning opportunities that's easy and effective. I call it cerebral sorbet. More on this technique in a moment. There is a practice in fine dining which has you cleanse your palate before going on to the next course. You take a taste of sherbet or sorbet to freshen your taste buds for the new course so you can take full advantage of the new taste without mixing it with the taste of the course before. We move from one task to another in our busy lives, and that leaves no time for integration. We seem to be doing a lot, but getting little accomplished. Enter Cerebral Sorbet. Let's pretend you're cleaning the house. The living room, kitchen, and bathroom are on your agenda. After cleaning each room, take a mini pause and allow that experience to register fully before moving on to the next room. If you're going from meeting to meeting at work, Take a moment between meetings to let the experience integrate. This pause can be applied between the activities of any to-do list, and you'll find you get more done with better results. If you just had a heated debate with someone and are now going to have a conversation with somebody else, take a pause and cleanse your mental palate. You don't want to take the energy of the previous encounter into the new situation. Reminds me of something I made up. I call it Signs of immaturity. A polarity response. That's, they say black, you say white. Failure to take responsibility. It's never your fault. Failure to apologize. You don't think you need to. Being upset with everyone. Tarring everyone with your upset. It's the last one that pertains to cleansing your mental palate. If you find that you're upset, there's no value in spraying a new encounter with the leftover venom you're carrying around. It taints the communication and gets little accomplished. This is not a recommendation to stuff it down. That just assures that it'll pop up at the most inappropriate time. This is the time to recalibrate and move on. Here's one way that's quite effective. I learned this exercise from the late Dr. Dave Dobson and have used it as cerebral sorbet quite often. When you complete something or want to let go of something, do this. One. Take a nice, comfortable breath, and then just sigh it out. In through your nose, and out through your mouth, with a little bit of sigh on the release. Two, wonder what you could be doing next that would be most appropriate for your upcoming situation. Three, roll your eyes in a circle, slowly. Now, I could make an attempt to explain why this is so effective, but the magic is in the doing, not the explanation. I highly recommend that you put this exercise in your bag of tricks. It helps integrate and diffuse experiences so you don't have to carry your past into your future. I wonder if you'll discover the magic of cerebral sorbet today. All the best, John.